Hope you will deserve to hear the review of the Avatar of Sunset Dawn Brothers. Gashpon of Targir, set 01. Apologize for saying set. Oh. Anyways, this is the first Gashpon set of Avatar Gears. Obviously, we have half of them as the entire lineup comprises. I'm dumb. <laughs> Alright, I finally pulled the pamphlet out because I literally forgot to prepare these. Oh, so, this is the pamphlet you get from these. They're not as colorful and they're not, they're, I don't know, they're not as, they're not, the quality's not really there. But as you can see, Don Montaro right there, padded with the Don Blaster. So this lineup comprises of Don Montaro, Oni Sister, Tokyo are three exclusives and the rare version of Don Molotaro. And bas this basically just tells us everything about warnings and such. So here are exclusives comprised of Die Ranger, Deck Ranger, and Live Man. So we will take a look at these individually when we cut to footage from months back of these sealed. So here's an example of what how you should expect to obtain these gears if you got them sealed. If you get them sealed. So um obviously I have Don Momotaro, Oni Sister and Tokyo as these are the extras. So as you can see from here, uh you know these they're kinda like in they're kinda like the sunset gears that you just sit in this black plastic bag and get the gear like so and then the pamphlet and such so here's our first of these she should read uh, <laughs> rearranger of die ranger which looks pretty neat overall obviously we got the uh we'll go back there home with rearranger this one, obviously because it's a gash pond, is V024, and obviously because it is an individual release, technically, they're all trans stamped. Obviously, this is the same, this should have the same notch pattern from its Sentai gear counterpart from gash upon one, I believe. <laughs> so, that that one got to be in gash pond again. Here we have Decoride of Decoranger. V036, so it should be the same notch from Candy Toy 3 of Sentai Gears? I... Was it Candy Toy 4? <laughs> I think it was SG4. SG3 was only three of them. Last but not least, we have... Red Falcon of Live Man, which is honestly probably my favorite out of all these, because I really do like Live Man suits. V018, and he has the same notch pattern from his counterpart from Gashapon 4 or 5. I'm going to stick with 5. But, yeah, let's use these three and everything we have <laughs> all right so we we'll, obviously it's kind of neat that die ranger was the first one that's first listed because this is one of the other few uh pre gokaiger some piger transformations that were actually done in the show So, again, that traditional standby, or transformation. Um, I think the way we'll handle this, we'll use a weapon per team. <laughs>
I actually find it very really funny that, um, you know, most of these are actually kind of interchangeable. Because <laughs> then we at Decker Ranger. That's not right. <laughs> So we will use the ninjark sword. That all you see of it in this video, I don't want to use it again. Last but not least, live man. We will use this with the Rukono Geki. Actually, never mind. We always show the Dawn Blaster finisher. Which then we will call upon Omikoshi Phoenix. I think for the sake of these, we're probably only going to do these once, so, uh... Because... The Omikoshi Phoenix is just going to say, uh, Kiwami Super Sentai for all of them. Man, I'm actually kind of stumped on which one we will probably use. I probably use live man. <laughs> Actually, we could have used both <laughs> because this one I wanted to show off because I feel I think this one's actually cool when we use it with the Zonglas sword. I think it's really cool that the Life Man's actually unique where they so the main Zonglass Sword LED coordination in the Dawn Blaster does acknowledge all five Life Men because it will be from red, yellow, blue, then purple to green. However, it still does acknowledge that Black Psy, you know, Black Bison and Green Psy are still extra heroes within Live Man. So I really do like that recognition. <laughs> and 
And then we'll use Deck Arranger. Obviously that doesn't really do it actually. Yeah, that doesn't do anything special. So no Decker Break, but Decker Break is acknowledged within the Zongla Sword, but not Decker Master. <laughs> and we'll do this one just because we technically did show it in the Dawn Blaster, but this is kind of the reason why I'm not going to show, you know, teams that we've already had within here, because then we're going to get situations like this. So yeah, obviously, uh, Rear Ranger would just be acknowledged as Keeper Ranger. <laughs> so, you know, I just don't want to go with that repetitiveness. And also to actually give the original re review where that gear came from some actual merit. But yeah, overall, what do you think about this first set? Jeez. <laughs> I think it's pretty solid overall. Um, I think it, you know... I think it's perfect. We got 80s, 90s, and 2000s and such. It is funny that, like, yes, we do have a gear that was originally from the first Sentai gear set and such, but I do find it interesting they are trying to shake things up. For example, Decker Ranger, who was originally a candy toy, is now Gashapon and such. And, like, you know, Live Man, again, is yet another Gashapon one. But... Overall, I do think this is pretty solid, but this is kind of getting to the point of, like, it's really up to you whether or not you want to actually collect these or not, just because of the fact that they don't do much. <laughs> it's just more of, like, oh, cool, I actually get to hear the name within the Dawn Blaster and such, but, like, obviously, sound-wise, they're not as efficient. Again, the only big things about these are just the Zongla sword stuff. <laughs> and s s maybe just to actually have another way of getting Kiva Ranger sounds so within the Tiger Door. <laughs> if you for some reason don't have Kiva Ranger or you just don't have him on you and such. But again, my favorite out of this lineup is definitely Live Man and such. Really wanted to get the Shoto Super, but I had to go with Cocker Ranger. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'll have to do this review. This is Ryder and I will be people. Bye.